Questions of dominated the supplementary budget presented to Parliament by the Health Ministry eventually prompted rejection. Priority financing has been fenced around activities such as outstanding staff allowances during prime COVID-19, valued at 8.1 billion shillings called reparations award to Sino Africa Medicine at 11.5 billion shillings, supervision of international specialized hospital Rugoa at 2.7 billion, among other quotations. This has been unwelcome to the health committee that ultimately tossed the budget. Why did you make it a priority? Supervision of Rugoa, which is not where nothing is, is taking place. Why? Sincerely, you need to furnish us with the status about the, of, of Rugoa super specialized hospital, you need to tell us what has changed, you need to tell us why it is the priority of the Ministry of Health and the government of Uganda, supervision of Suruwa super specialized hospital. Now, oxygen plants. I see this company called Silver Box, and you know the owner of the owner. Don't you know it? Don't you know the owners of Silver Box? You should I tell you? The owners of <laughs> now, yes, silver bucks is the one that supplied us junk, junk oxygen machines. According to Lex Letters, the criteria through which the ministry selected the above activities is questionable as infrastructure was left out, citing facilities such as Mulago Hospital being non-priority compared to Lugoa Specialized Hospital, where access has been denied until now. Now, the issue of Lugoa, I, I, I think that one, for me, Lugoa is, I think, brain dead. We just have to plug off switch off the life support when I go minister and we escort it to the mortuary. In my opinion, as chairman of the health committee, can we, it's the vegetative state. Whenever the community outside uh, hears anything concerning Globoa Specialized Hospital, it really becomes very hot out there. I, I really wonder what the 2.7 billion is going to be used for if the activity that has come out is just supervision, not doing anything. Someone would wonder how much supervision is happening without having anything to do with construction. Oh, he wants to use 2.7 when he can't even, he, enter, he needs to seek for permission. How many permissions we have thought later on to utilize 2.7? But also, I think it is important that you furnish us with the status report of Rugoa. Because I don't know, well, through your chair at the committee, whether we have any status report of Rugoa later on to be convinced that. In her defense, the Health Minister, Honorable Ruth, changed night participating in the selection of the above activities and passing on the liability to Ministry of Finance despite initial priority to Mulago Hospital and finance picked out these five. In our request, Mulago was number one, then we had Busolwe, then COVID, the quarter ward, oxygen plant supervision, and areas on for INRA. And uh, finance picked those five. Lua Specialized Hospital has been an unresolved case of bad closed contracting, corruption involving government and Italian farm financi, among others, believed to cost 16 times more than normal. Jen Ruth Achen says the project was approved by Parliament and the Ministry's job is simply implementation. She adds that the 2.7 billion shillings for supervision is a fair amount, judging by the usual market expenses. The Lobowa Hospital project was a project approved by Parliament. The Ministry of Health is not the implementer. Ministry of Finance is the financier. So for me, I can only implement, and I await for recommendations from you people on how to move forward. The committee has also demanded that the ministry provides a list of all unpaid COVID-19 and Ebola medical workers. 
you are now talking about areas for people who worked in a COVID time. I want to bring it to your attention once again. I remember the human resource manager, good enough, was also in Movedi at the time of declaring Movedi and the whole country free of Ebola. There are also some people, actually the hygienists that worked in the Ebola time in Movende Regional Referral Hospital, and some burial teams that did not get paid. The committee further advised the ministry to come back tomorrow with a clear supplementary budget supported by relevant documents. Samlanifa, Smart24 TV, Business Today.